guys, CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> Henry just looks. I mean, if you got, I should just, I should just do the video one time where I just show where Henry's just. He just sits here on his perch and just looks at me, and he's like, I mean, he thinks you're crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you saw in my hand here, I had something. Matco tools. It's actually not Matco. It's rebranded, which we're not going to get into that. But anyways, this is, uh, we're going to talk about some extractors real quick. We're going to talk about these gems right here specifically. But I want to talk to you about maybe, maybe get your thoughts on what you think. But for me, I had a, had a stubborn bull today and it just wore me down. What do you want, buddy? Come on up here. Say hello to everybody. You know, you just got to get... He's so mild-mannered. Watch him just... He's going to go to sleep. Watch. Go to sleep. We'll pet him. His eyes will get heavy. Just rub my head, Dad. Rub my head. I want to go to sleep. Anyways, it's been a long day. Let's get into it. Sorry. I uh, appreciate you guys. If it's your first time, give Henry a like. Give Henry a subscribe. Follow him. I mean me. Or him, whatever. He's the real star. So anyways, let's get to looking at the extractors. 2,000 years later. Okay, well, we're going to we're gonna get into the world of extractors again. Which we know we all know that I'm a big fan of some of the RBRT extractors. But, uh, you know, you all, you all have played with these fluted ones. And uh, I've got, these are my go-to. And these are Macos. And they're pretty much all the same, you know. This one's not been used much. But uh, the other guys here, you can see they're some of my more... More avidly used extractors. I've had this kit for so long now. Um, it's been around. I don't even know. It's. I bought this off my Matco dealer a long time ago and used it. Picked up this set on a deal. But these guys right here are probably some of my go-tos. Uh, just the straight fluted extractors. They work pretty much nine times out of ten. Maybe eight. I don't know. These spiral ones, I'm not a huge fan because they spread on. And, uh, you know, we have... The good old RBRT FOR bed extractors, and these gems are pretty much my go-to because they have a—they're basically like a star drive. I mean, that, uh, let's let's put it to you this way: How many people out there have used the Torx bit to do some extracting on stuff? And basically, that's these are only a little bit more hardened, and uh, and I also like the FOR uh, bit edge on it too because you can pop the, the screw off so these are really nice got to be delicate with them because you will snap them i will tell you that the bigger guys a little bit more forgiving but uh i go to these are pretty much the ones i use mostly i'll be honest with you mostly but i do have these guys right here and i know you guys are probably interested in this and i saw these on the matco flyer which immediately spawned me into uh doing wanting to do a video on these because i bought these a while ago and with overwhelming amounts when i bought these on a tool haul that i did people had literally told me you are going to regret that and this is oh look at that we left one up in there i was like i thought there was five pieces get out of there come on you little stinker there we go got the little guy out there a few moments later um and i remember watching a video on project farm on these and these are actually made by remsteg which is a subsidiary or a sister company of nipex whatever um these are actually and, and a lot of people think they're made by nipex but it's actually remsteg is the company and uh, this is a patented design on these the one things that i will say that i do like about them is the fact that they have this little center punch divot in the tip of them, which is extremely nice. And the hex part, which is also reminiscent of the FOR bit. So, I mean, in some retrospects, they, they were ahead of time on the FOR. The one problem that I will say that I have noticed is, is that using these things <laughs> is almost like, um, where's the one that I used here? I, I had one of these just warrantied out because I just broke it. And I, I don't know if you can tell. So I used one of these right here. And you, what you do is you drive it down in there into the screw to extract it. But the problem is, is if you look at this thing, it basically just flattens out on all the edges. And it doesn't pick up. It doesn't catch the edge that well. You would think it would. but And the cool part about it is it's for forward and reverse design. 
I think the idea was well thought out, but I and I think they were going for basically the same uh, look or the same thing that the FOR bit was going for the RBRTs. To be honest with you, um, if you if really compare them apples to apples, I mean we're talking about a starter pattern. <laughs> You know, I mean, and you can get in there and pick them out. Problem is, the metal's got to be really soft. If you have a hardened steel, it doesn't want to bite into this. And then these things, catch, and if they do catch, sometimes they'll twist out. Not super impressive. Uh, I, I don't think these are ones that I would pick up over the FOR bits. But uh, I wanted to talk about them because I know there's going to be some people that are going to want to buy some of these. And I just don't have a whole lot of faith in them. Uh, they're dual edge design is what they call them and these have been you can see I've had these things for quite some time now I, I refuse to get rid of them because I don't want to give up on them because they are a quality German made product and in fact it does say made in Germany um, but once again the other thing is I want to pr point out is just because something carries a name and this goes along with snap-on or anything you have to be weary or wonder about the product and don't always just jump on the bandwagon and saying, well, this is because it's a Nipex, it's great. This is a product from Nipex that's built well, thought out well, but the overall execution is somewhat lackluster, in my opinion. It just doesn't, I mean, the flat sides, if you think about this, which I don't even know why an engineer wouldn't, but if you think about this, look at my finger. If it's trying to bite into something, it's going to just kind of roll off. It's pushing away. So when you're trying to twist out and you're kind of relying on grabbing that leading edge in the next one, and uh, it's just going to have barely what? a split second before it's now, you know, flat with the surface. So you have to grab that one, you know, and it's just kind of, I think there's a lot more thought going into it, but I think they needed to, what they needed to do is cup the edges probably and bring them out and make them more like a star and they'd have been, Pretty, pretty awesome because honestly the center parts part is really the best part about these you can hammer on them and uh, you know the big hex and these are really would have been great extractors but at the end of the day honestly I would like I would rather seen them do something like this in this design if they would have changed the edges because you can forward and reverse these too for taking out and putting in if you had to but you see the edges just come out a lot square and they're going to bite in so when you pound that in it's going to actually bite into the metal and you have something to grab onto where this one just kind of pushes the metal away when you're driving it in i mean it's flat they're flat on 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 the edges here they're flat as a pancake so you're just going to be pushing the metal away you know that's just kind of my thoughts on it you know just kind of giving you guys a little bit of but honestly the two best extractors in my opinion now are still the good old fluted and the uh, FORs, those are my favorite, uh, but be be mindful if you're going to get these. These are rebranded. You can buy them from Ramstrike. In fact, check out Project Farm Video if you want to. Uh, I think if you just type in Nipex Extractor, it'll pull them up. But, uh, yeah, little extractor tip for you all, little uh, tool video. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.